What we do know this morning is that there is one potential lead. This new development has been unfolding in Revere overnight. Let's get right to Bree's season with the very latest there. Bree. David and Carrie, we have confirmed that there is a person of interest. Now, whether that's the same person that David Robichaud was mentioning at Brigham and Women's, who knows? But we can tell you that there was a search here at this Revere apartment complex overnight and that it is directly tied to the bombings on Boylston Street yesterday. Now, earlier this morning, we did see police questioning two men who were walking into the building. They were stopped by federal authorities in the lobby of the building, asked several questions. They handed over their passports, and then they were allowed to go upstairs. Uh, we cannot tell exactly which apartment was searched, but we do know there was a big law enforcement presence here for several hours. Local authorities and federal agents all converged on the apartment about 5 o'clock last night. WBZ saw federal agents leave the scene around 2 a.m. carrying several bags of evidence. Still, neighbors aren't being given any updates from the property owner about exactly what's going on or what was found. I would like to find out what's going on before I go back inside. I think it would be appropriate for them to make some kind of statement just to let us know that we're safe because, I mean, if they've been here with ATF and FBI, that they maybe should at least let us know that we're not in any kind of danger. Now, law enforcement was here overnight for about nine hours. We're working to find out more about who their person of interest is and how he or she may be connected to this apartment complex in Revere. We can tell you they have cleared the scene for now. Live in Revere, I'm Bree Season. David and Carrie, back to you.